Hi everybody, welcome to Like My Way Tarot. Um, for the new ones, I'm Stephanie. And until I turned the camera on, I wasn't quite sure about the topic or the title of this reading. But we're looking into commitment today. Will your person uh, put you first, prioritize your connection? Um, and by commitment, I don't mean necessarily marriage or or engagement. Just putting you first, stopping the craziness that they might be doing, and uh, focus on your connection and you. So that's our topic today. Um, so three piles. We have pile one, two, and three. Your timestamps are in the description box with the infos for personal readings. And that is it. Just choose the pile that attracts you the most and that speaks to you the most. And I'll see you at your reading. Hello, group one. So it seems to me it's been a while since I've done a reading about commitment. So... I really felt like doing it uh, today because the past two weeks, all the readings that I've been doing seems like there's something happening with the collective where uh, your person is kind of being focused on other stuff. So, um, yeah, I want to check it out. So, it's simple. I'm probably going to have a sub-question, obviously, after that, as usual. So depending on what we get, I might change the question. We have the King of Cups Reverse. Will your person commit to you? Group 1. The King of Cups. The Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups, but reversed. Okay, duality is going on here. We got counterparts, but one of them is not acknowledging their feelings. And the sex doesn't matter here. You know, you you might be more in the masculine energy and your person more in the feminine or vice versa. So you adapt to your situation here. But there's something a little bit off here. It's up and down. Okay. Will your person commit, group one? We have the Knight of Cups. All cups so far. Little, a very emotional connection you're getting, uh, group one. Ho oh, oh. ho. Will your person commit to you? I'm focusing on short, short term, like three months. Okay, so this is not like a forever thing. It's for the next three months or so. It could be two months, it could be four, but around three months. Energy shifts all the time, so to go further than three months, I find it's, it's not very accurate. So let's focus on three months. The Emperor. Well, that's good. Will your person commit to you and the, the eight of cups okay we're getting a, a return here or stepping up the moon reversed well wow. well your person is conflicted very conflicted. I'm sorry, I just shook the camera. Okay, sorry, I had to fix my uh, tripod. It's very arrogant energy. Very flip-floppy. You have the emperor and everything else is cups. And the moon reversed. Hmm. 
I would say the thing is here that there's a lot of things unsaid with the moon weavers. It's like secret that needs to be revealed. And I feel like it might be done in a arrogant way or in a stubborn way. So I feel like if you're in no contact, you might get back in contact. But it's not super, can I say it this way? It's not super lovely. It's a bit more like, you know I'm right. You know it should be this way. It should happen. It should be that way. We should do this. And it's there. there's this friction and this misunderstanding with... With the feelings and the connection. This is so odd to read. The King of Cups can be arrogant as well. He could be manipulative. He can be um, a little bit all over the place, if I can say it this way. When the Queen of Cups is the full, compassionate, motherly energy protective, uh, caring here. She's just lovely. And I, the thing I, is that I feel like you might be offering more than your person. There is something between the two of you. And there's a lot of things and emotions that need to be expressed. But I feel like there's something that you might not quite know fully about your connection. There's a lot of attachment here. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking my time here. A lot of attachment. But it feels like... Um, could be codependency or just habit there is no commitment showing but there's definite emotions you two might be triggering each other quite a bit so i don't see commitment but i see for the next three months a lot of reconsideration it's a very emotional three months <laughs> or a short while that you're going to be going through. And three months when you're stuck in that can seem like it can seem like forever. You might feel like your person is not offering and not opening up to you. Maybe your person is more showing. Um, it's like being... A bit, not necessarily stuck in their ego, but wanting to show how good they are, how good of a provider they can be, um, how successful they are, how much money they have, that kind of stuff. When in reality, what you want is for them to open up. So for these two cards to be this way, if these two were upright, it'd be incredible. It would be. So let's see. What's going on with your person now? Okay, let's see what's going on with your person. That's my second question. Because I'm sure that you might be pretty confused about what's going on in your connection. You might feel like your person doesn't want to invest in the connection as much as you want. We have the two of ones here. What's going on with your person? Right now. When it comes to your connection. Oh. We have the two of ones. The wheel of fortune. The page of ones. What's going on in their life? When it comes to your connection. What's going on? Let's clarify this. 
King of Swords. These are all good. And we have the Three of Cups. Let's clarify our Three of Cups. A lot of us, when we see this card, we do not like it. If you are in a third party situation, that could be it. Your, your person might be busy with work as well. We have the world. Oh, tell me more here. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, well, your person is right now, when it comes to your connection, they do see quite a bit of potential. And they are attracted by you. They're like mostly physically for. I, I feel like for most of you. Attracted physically. They're um, curious. Intrigued. King of swords. And it kind of makes them. It makes them want to rush to you. But I'm not feeling like they're telling you the truth. I'm just going to be honest here. Uh, I never wear white gloves when I read. And that's what I'm getting. This person wants to keep their options open. And you're very much part of the options. Okay, you're very much there. But your person is kind of not wanting to make a decision. They're waiting here to see what's going to happen. They see the potential. Um, they might be uh, not necessarily flirting, but busy with something else. They might be focused on their career. Um, they do see you as somebody of, of great, um, strength. That's what I'm hearing. It's not even in the card per se, but I'm hearing strength. So, so they might see you as this queen of pentacles, but now they're stuck. It's like they know they have to make a decision or make a move in order to not lose you, but they're not, they're really on standby and they might not tell you everything. So I would, I don't see commitment here. I see indecisions and doubts and secrets not mean secrets it's just like not hoping not saying everything not being completely vulnerable and explaining things properly to you so that you understand what the heck they want and um but in reality they're feeling stuck so they, they don't quite know what to do there might be a situation or another person in in the mix um, but they want to keep you around. So when it comes to this King of Swords reverse, it's their truthfulness, their authenticity towards you that is not quite 100%. It's not with mean intentions. It's just so that they can keep you around until they decide. So that's that's what I see. They they're very emotionally um, confused. So your person, it's not that they don't like you; they're just really confused. So that's where it's your person stands. So we're looking at three months. You know, they have time to figure it out. Hopefully, right? Um, but they're they're stuck into something and. They'd like to, to be with you, but I, I just don't feel like they're completely honest with you. So, so just be careful. Um, for, for those who are like recently dating or seeing this person once in a while, just be careful that it's not just for sex. Because that's what I'm getting with the Page of Wands. Like the fun part without commitment and and you don't and they might be making promises here or you might inter 
pre interpret understand it <laughs> what am i saying you might understand what they're saying as promises when it not sure that it's it's something that they're going to follow through with i think there's just a moment of confusion it's not that there's no feelings it's just I'm very confused and a little bit like it feels very immature at the bottom here we have the four of cups reversed mm, yeah so we're gonna get into a few messages from them um For the Four of Cups, by the way, I'm just going to finish here first. Having the Four of Cups reverse, it's a missed opportunity. Feeling like the Mr. Chance. So if you're the one who left, uh, they might have hope that you return. If they screwed up, sorry for my language, they might feel like you are better off without them. So that's pretty much what's going on here. Let's see what's going on with your connection, what you need to know. Look, uh, look to your inner strength. Oh, I was hearing strength before. You are stronger than you realized. So look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realize. It might be a rough patch. And your connection, if you're like in a relationship or you've been like knowing each other for a long time. But it feels pretty sad and it's sadness and disappointment. I don't see anger so much. There's no anger. It's just like such a great disappointment for the next three months. It's up and down. It's up and down and nothing is quite taking place just yet okay but it will happen energy changes all the time what else do we need to know here keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations oh maybe that's why your person is confused or maybe you are confused about this maybe this person is not quite the type of person you usually want to date so keep an open mind and be strong. I feel like your person might be a very stubborn one. There's so many of them out there. Um, and I feel like you gave them a lot of attention, energy, and you've put a lot of your heart into this connection and your person is just like, undecisive that's where they are at right now they want to tell you this are you still are are we still friends so something happened between the two of you here that makes them doubt this it's safer to keep all this in my head mm -hmm. oh yeah this person doesn't want to look like an idiot. They don't want to fail at anything. It's somebody who's proud. Not necessarily egoistic, but proud. And they, 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 they just don't want to look weak. Okay, what energy do you need to stand in? The pig spirit. Number 47. Comes down to 11. That's good. Use your mind wisely. Oh, I just told you. Keep your eyes open. 
set to, I think there's boundaries that needs to be set here. If you're in contact with this person, if it's a soulmate, if it's a friend or, or somebody you've been kind of dating on and off. It's just like they're they're just in a funky phase. Happens to everybody, you know. Number four, the bagger spirit, be fearless and bold. So if you were thinking about making a move, you have it there. Could be a move like walking towards him, towards your person. But it could be also a move like moving on as well. So the move you had in mind, just know that you can be fearless and bold and do it. What's blocking your connection? Tell us more here. And then I'll get you an advice. Oh, you need to be courageous. And we had strength. Um... Uh, here you're stronger than you realize you need courage it's it, it really it doesn't feel like an ending it feels like a phase it's a long phase like if we're talking three months it feels it always feels long but it feels like it's it's very temporary when you look at the bigger picture so I would give it time and see what they decide. But if you've been waiting for a while, you might be tired of it and and decide to move on. But at least you know what's going on. Okay, advice here or message for group one. Oh, we have this. Friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Hmm. Friendship. I feel like for some of you, it's somebody that's been around for a long time and it became um I'm going to say it this way. I'm sure the image is going to make you understand. Sometimes you feel like you're a furniture that people don't see you anymore. And the fun kind of leaves. Or you don't feel like fireworks anymore. Um, that needs to be reignited. That spark. So maybe that explains all the doubts here. Um, an advice of on um, on what to do next, right? Well, where do you go from there? What do you need to do now for yourself? Oh, we got love. Here it says your love will dramatically improve. And then we get love. Amour. Choisissez l'amour. So choose love. Laissez votre amour devenir une puissante force de changement. Allow your love to become a powerful source of change. That could be loving yourself. It could be being more caring. We got it here. But the King of Swords, uh, the King of Cups reverse is quite a, the opposite. It, it, it could be demeaning. It could be manipulative. So I, these two here needs to flip. And I think allowing the, the fun, the lightness and the love to come back in would change or shift the energy. It won't fix everything, but it would shift what's going on right now. Okay. Well, group one, this is your reading. 
thank you again for being with me for this reading. Let me know how this resonates. And I love reading your comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next reading. All right? Have a good one. Hi, everybody. Ucho's Pal 2. Let me just stack up a few cards here. I'm giving, I'm getting a little uh, overwhelmed here. There's just too many. So I need space to shuffle. Okie dokie. That's better. All right. So today we're talking about commitment. Will your person prioritize your connection and you in the near future? So I'm focusing on the next three months. Okay, so short term, just know that this is not a forever energy. It could be shorter, it could be faster, um, or longer. So it could be two months, it could be four, it could be six weeks. But we're looking short term. Um, what's going to happen with your person? Will they commit and invest in your connection? If you're watching this, uh, you might feel like they're not too invested in the connection and that's why I'm I chose this topic um, like I was saying before I don't remember if it was in the intro or the last pile uh, in the past two weeks most of my personal readings were kind of saying that that the other person is focused on something else or is not investing in the connection or or just you know just walking away for different reasons so it feels like right now it's in the collective it doesn't matter when you watch this reading but when i'm doing it and most of my readings are kind of influenced by by the energy that i see in the personal readings when i see that there's something going on with the collective i feel like it's time to do a pick a card about it right Okay, so far we have the Three of Cups, the Empress, the World Reversed, the Queen of Wands Reversed, the Nine of Cups. Okay, will they commit? Well, okay, I'll be honest, I'm not wearing gloves. I, I never do. Um, I'm going to ask another question after... To understand why this is the way it is. Your person wants to keep you around and puts you on a pedestal. Okay. There might be a third party or a just a situation that's in the way that takes quite a bit of their um, energy and focus. But in short, they put you on a pedestal and they like to keep you around and to, to be close to you. So yes, they would love to be more invested in the connection. The thing is that they're not doing it. It's like we're having their intentions versus their actions. There's something about disappointment. There's something also here with the world reverse, like feeling like they miss an, an opportunity, a chance that the spark has gone, that it might be too late, and that maybe they screwed up a, a little too badly and disappointed you too much. That they won't, they're, they're not taking that chance. So we'll see what they would like, okay, after that. I'm just going to clarify here this Nine of Cups. Because it could have been you that walked away. Or you that is in another relationship. And that keeps them away. So adapt this to your situation. Okay, but there's this. I want more. But we can't. It's really like you got like two messages here. And it's a little bit like confusing. It's a little bit all over the place. Uh, these cards, they have the chakra colors around. And uh, we're a little bit <laughs> everywhere. It's um, it's in the third high chakra. It's in the 
the root chakra, <laughs> it's in the crown chakra, it's, you know, and solar plexus. It's like everywhere. So it's kind of confusing for them. And emotions don't seem to be... They're recognized, but they're not accepted. That's different. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. This person might feel, uh, might be afraid to be rejected. Eight of Cups, exactly. Eight of Cups, that's walking away. Uh, I don't see them uh, reaching out and, and saying like, I want to commit and, and put energy in our connection. There's something blocking them. Hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to do two questions, but with like three cards each. Yeah, six of pentacles. Um, a need of balance here. Okay, what are their feelings? Temperance. Ace of Pentacles reversed. And the Page of Pentacles. This person feels like they have too little to offer to you. Um, they're a little torn. Tell me more about the Ace. That's too much. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Because that's very much um, like the feeling of um, of not being able to offer or not receiving from the other one. So there, it's like no offers. But we got temperance, so we're unsure. And we have the Page of Pentacles, which is a little offer. So it's like they want the connection, but just a little bit. So now you need to decide if it's enough for you. And, and their feelings, like they like you, but we don't have cups here. We got some kind of stability, but it's not quite stable. It's, it's, it's wishy-washy. Ten of Cups reversed. It's feeling unhappy. Ace of Swords. This person wants to make this work. But we got a lot of deception here with the nine of cups and the ten of cups, both reverse. It's a big deception. Maybe they feel like you're better than them. And it's a matter of like self-confidence, self-value. Let's see about this ace of swords. It's seeing clearly, they're seeing clearly through all of this, but they want something balanced and safe. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So right now, no, well, they're not ready to invest. They would like to invest in the connection, but their 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 focus is elsewhere, and the focus is. Like, this is about their feelings, and we don't have cups. We have quite a bit of pentacles. And the cups we have is, is disappointment. So I feel like your person is... Uh, th this is for three months. So we'll, we'll see what happens in three months, or maybe less. The page of cups reversed. I'm going to be completely honest here. 
it's like there is love there is caring but it's not enough to make it work in their eyes and that's for three months so don't don't uh, necessarily take that for uh, it's not a forever thing but it's not looking like commitment in the next short term three months or about that what's in the way of this connection i'm sorry eh but i have to say what's there i don't I, i'm not the type of reader who's gonna keep giving you hope and telling you what you want to hear no, it's not about giving hope it's about i don't like to just say what you want to hear i know what you want to hear but if it if it's not in the card i'm not going to say that okay i'm going to say what's there and what's going on for the right now okay i'm a no bs reader okay adult children well this could be a few things this is what's in the way of your connection this could be maturity okay lack of experience i could be acting like an idiot as well and just not focusing on the right thing your person might be stuck in their ego and that kind of things it could also be about having responsibility of someone it could be a child but it could be like an elderly like a parent or a family member that they need to take care of so it's there's something about having a responsibility of the responsibility of someone and that takes their attention or your attention or it's just complete immaturity and somebody who's not quite ready to be with someone and commit okay i don't feel like your person is um it's not they're not lying necessarily or they're not it's just like right now there's not enough or, or they might not have enough energy to give it could be you as well so you can switch the roles okay emotions are all over the place okay emotions could also be codependency i see that very often i want to see another uh, blockage for you guys um it's taking care of the emotions and not um the thing is that there's a lot of sadness here in your connection there's a lot of withdraw and a lot of focus on safety and stability it could be financial stability but I, if you are with this person and you're together just for the safety of not changing the connection or not changing your life and having to separate and all that because you might be with living with this person. Um, it's time to make mature choices. The right choice. And stay if you stay with this person, stay for the right reason. Emotions uh, need to be looked at. And spiritual growth. So, it's like you're learning something here. We call it a lesson. What's going on in your connection now is... Helping you grow spiritually. Getting into a greater consciousness. We don't like it necessarily because it's always difficult to grow. Because it requires energy, strength, courage. And usually we don't necessarily like what we see at first. It's difficult to... Um, Sometimes accept our flaws, our mistakes, forgive at the person and all that. So, so it's, it's, there's, it's, it's very shaky. Something is changing and it feels like this will, I, it doesn't feel like it's a forever thing. It feels like a phase. So I would give it time. Okay. 
but it's emotional. It's if you're just be very careful on how you react. Don't be impulsive. Don't text back too quickly. Think about it. You don't need to reply to messages uh, within the second. You can wait an hour before you reply to messages. I don't know. <clears throat> People feel like as soon as um, as we see a message, we need to reply or the person, the other person should reply right away. You know what? When when I was a kid, I'm not that old. I'm 42, okay, for those who don't know. Well, people would call, and if I was not available, they would leave a message. And before that, we didn't have an answering machine. So they would just call back. You don't need to reply right away. So be very careful when people are texting you to not overreact and send messages too quickly. I see it a lot. It creates a lot of confusions and connections. You can just reply. I'll reply later. I'm busy. Okay? If you feel bad for not responding right away. What does your person want to tell you here? We just click. And I'm hiding my feelings from you. This person is not quite ready to show them. Uh, what, what do you need to know about this connection? Express your love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreci appreciation. I can't, I'm having problems pronouncing appreciation you can laugh that's very fine with me there's some words i can pronounce my daughters they always laugh at me because their their, uh, their dad is english so. <laughs> um yeah so so they laugh at me but hey i'd rather them laughing at me than then be upset or sad or it's just it makes makes it fun right so you can laugh as much as you want was what else do you need to know here passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yeah there's something that like it's like the mind wants or the reason wants to take over and the heart has to open here in your connection that's the main thing um what energy do you need to stand in right now the wombat wombat spirit be at home number 68 the wombat spirit He's got a crown on with a ruby on top. The ruby is green, right? And it's the color of the heart chakra. And we just had, I'm making, you know, links between things. Express your love. Feel safe. It is safe. Oh, look at that. Wait, 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 wait. We got the Empress here. Let's see, we got the Empress, and I see her as the, the, the like the Nine of Pentacles. She's offering it to her. She's offering the cup of love to the younger self. And look at her crown. Like she's got it all, man. This is an expensive crown. And she's giving this cup, offering her heart. You know, because it doesn't matter how much money you have in life. If your heart is unhappy, you don't feel like you got nothing. So, green heart. And see, there's a lot of green here. All right. The other energy you need to be in, the scrap beetle spirit. Magic works through you.
maybe you're feeling like you could do something about it or you could, you know, express your feelings or something to this person. It feels very blocked, very emotional, very scared. So I think this, this, this fear of opening up needs to be de dealt with that's the main thing here that i'm getting and it, it might be from both of you actually or just one of you but it, it's there's a lot of fears here okay message here for group two okay we have this Sorry, I just shook the camera. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your reflect your own reflection. So you know sometimes we blame someone to do something that we don't like, and then we realize that we do the same thing. It's a little bit of that. So that's the kind of stuff that triggers us. And we need to be aware of it. Okay. Advice for group two. What's the advice for group two? Independence. Walking your own path. Décidez pour vous-même, exercez votre droit de choisir. So decide for yourself. Um, use your right to choose. So you choose. It's like you... It feels like it's in your end. You decide which direction it could go. And I feel like you're realizing a lot of a lot of things. <sighs> Group two. This is your reading. Let me know how this resonates for you. Like, subscribe, please comment. I love when people write a little something. I read all your uh, comments, by the way. Um, most of them I do a little heart just to show you that I seen, I've seen read it. I cannot reply to everybody. Obviously, it would just be insane but i do read everything all right so thank you so much for being with me once more wish you a great beautiful day and or evening or night and i'll see you very soon thank you bye bye hi everybody uchos piled three so we're looking at commitment today will your person invest more time and energy into your connection and into you so we're not necessarily talking about marriage and um, engagement. We're just talking about like focusing on your connection. Will they commit to you and be uh, invested in your connection? Um, yeah, and depending on what we're getting here, I'll ask another question. Obviously, I don't know what I'm going to ask, but I'll see how I'm, what I'm receiving uh, as messages after that so uh yeah so that's pretty much that let's see for group three here spirit will they commit we got the tower that's not freak out just yet <laughs> a lot of us don't like to see the tower but the tower represent change Oh, the, the the thing I forgot to mention is that I'm I'm focusing on the next like three months or so. So short term, we're not looking at like forever. It's just like right now, the cycle that you're in. Is it for a long time or um? Is it's not not about time? Is it gonna get better, worse? What to expect for the next um? the next few months okay it could be two months it could be four 
obviously this is a collective reading so um it's just to give you an idea i'm focusing on short term and to me that's three months even though sometimes it seems like forever we got temperance reversed wow things are shaking <laughs> oh, uh, it seems also don't don't just to re reassure you the topic of today i chose it because for the past two weeks i'm getting similar type of readings for the personal readings it seems like there's something going on with the collective and the energy of the collective um so it's not just you and it's not gonna last forever uh, we have the king of cups reversed and we have the lovers reversed oh boy oh they're all major arcanas except for king of cups here how interesting you guys have a very super strong moment here with your connection okay the next three months are gonna be rough and tough lots of changes lots lots of duality lots of um things will be revealed to you um it will maybe get you a little emotional upside down um there could be a lot of uh, resentment resurfacing <clears throat> oh it's gonna be um it's gonna be something but it has to happen oh and the queen of cups is reversed as well here so we got counterparts here how strong is that wow let me just like take this in this is like a little bit crazy i don't see commitment for the next three months i see a lot of changes a lot of turmoil a lot of reevaluation, but it's and like to the roof here some things are falling apart you might feel like your person is walking away from you here as well you might this th there's a lot of separation energy going on here but it's not i feel like i'm getting a twin flame pile okay so if you felt or think that you're relationship or your person is your twin flame that could very well be okay you have the two cards of the twin flames here plus all these other super strong energies like i'm feeling my lungs being squished pressured um it feels like another tower moment is showing up something big is gonna happen or his happening right now you have to know that this is not forever and and um it's just you have to go through it uh this journey is difficult if you're if it's not your twin flame or if you don't know about twin flames just don't worry about it you don't have to be twins it's just like this is like a crazy moment between the two of you the next three months it could be a separation from your husband or you know your wife or somebody you've been with for a long time but it feels like it's falling apart next three months so we i don't see commitment i see breaking off but it's tough it's not like it's wanted i'm you know what instead of asking um I'm just going to clarify a few things. I'm just going to clarify. Tell me about the lovers. Queen of Wands. Tell me about Temperance. Why is it there? Ace of Swords. Tell me about the tower. What's going on with the tower? We don't always like the tower, you know that? So tell me more about that. Give me two cards for the tower. 
I, I personally don't like seeing the tower in my readings when I watch Pick of Cards or Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about the tower. What's going on here? Queen of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords is reversed here. Uh, there's not many cards in this deck that are like reversible, but this one is reversed because there's writing here. The other ones don't. I took that in my daughter's toys. Imagine how beautiful they are. I love them. Um, and the Knight of Wands here. You might have set your boundaries and been very clear with your person or or it's going to happen. And the focus and the energy is going to turn on to that. There might be someone who's might be a little bit too rude or cold, too blunt, too direct, a little uncompassionate uncompa towards the other. Um, maybe focus about money. If you're in separation and you're in the midst of separating the stuff and selling the house and all that mm, lovely experience, uh, this could be hit here. This could very well be something similar to that. It's, it's like we're trying to be rational here, but there's a lot of stuff unsaid with temperance reversed. Uh, and unsettled and it might be a, a few little bit a little lies here I feel like you might both want to hand this chaos because it's too intense but in reality I don't feel like you do you two don't love each other check this out king of cups lovers queen of cups the thing is that I don't feel like you two understand each other or that you're ready for each other, depending on your situation. Tell me about the king and the queen. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have a sip of water while I'm watching or looking at my cards here because this is very intense, guys. Mm. There could be a lot of dishonesty here. Uh, could be manipulative, might be toxic. Maybe someone realized that and somebody wants out. It's interesting that we got two ones here because you're always attracted to each other. It could be physical, but it's more magnetic than, than physical. It's just like something you can control. Oh, look at that. The Knight of Cups reverse clarifying the King of Cups. Whew. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I think there's a lot of stuff going on here in the near future that won't be authentic uh it could be just like saying what you want to hear just to like calm things down it might be like untruthful it's not necessarily with bad intention it's just to calm down the, the this it's very dramatic what's going on here I feel like I've been through this eight years ago when I left the father of my kids and also had all those tower moments with my twin flame afterwards in the past two and a half years. Um, yeah, it's, it's Knight of Swords. I feel like 
the person in the relationship who has who's more in the feminine energy it doesn't have to be a woman the person who's more emotional closer to her emotions would love to rush back towards the other one or the other one to rush back to her they like want this connection to work but i don't think it's for the right reason Or it's to avoid being in pain. That's what I mean by not the right reason. It's to not to not have pain. It's not always easy to um, to walk away from somebody we love. I feel like you two love each other. What do we have here? The Knight of Pentacles reverse, but it's not going anywhere. And you're not receiving anything. And I don't see any commitment coming in the next three months. So that's for that. Okay, it's it's really... It's heavy. But one of you is hoping that it's gonna get better still. But it's, it's kind of... It's gonna be a tough three months. Okay? So no white gloves, eh? I gotta read the cards the way they are. So now, what else do we ask? I'm gonna ask what what's for what's best for you to do at this point with your connection. That's what I'm hearing, so that's what I'm asking. What's best for viewer group three to do with this connection with their person? What's best for them to do with this connection with their person? Ace of Wands reversed. Oh, the Devil reversed. The nine of wands reversed. Okay, well, I'm stopping here. <laughs> I don't think I ever had a reading that was so clear on YouTube in the pick of cards. I did in the personal readings, but this is stop investing your energy, let go, and and surrender. feels like this it is so so intense i would not be surprised that you're twin flames it doesn't matter you don't have to be but it, it it's intense and when we're in a twin flame connection we need to let go and surrender so that it gives space for a change in the connection and shifts of energy it's the hardest thing to do it took me over two years and I still have relapse. Okay. Um, yeah. So it doesn't matter what kind of soul connection you two are. It's time to let go. And I don't like to say that, but that's what's there. It's really screaming. Eight of Cups. Reversed. Hmm. Um, this is attachment. Let go of the attachment. Okay, the codependency or the addiction here to each other. You two are like attached like insane. And it's tearing you apart. To have this attachment. See, uh, no, sorry. 
Okay, um, let's see what else you need to know, okay? Uh, first, what your person wants to tell you. It's like unbearable. And you don't have, it doesn't have to be that dramatic now that you know. I'm a coward. If I had done this reading for, like for myself, where I was at the point where I needed to let go of my twin flame, and it doesn't mean I don't love him anymore. It's not true. I still do. I still do very much, but he doesn't offer me anything I deserve. He doesn't offer me nothing. So I surrendered, surrendered, surrendered. Because he's that. Completely. It would be the kind of energy I was in about six months, three months ago, three months ago, four months. I am true to you. Like, what do you want, buddy? It's very frustrating. I get that. If you want more details about your per your your own connection, you can contact me for personal readings. Just like you can book on my um on my website. Please listen to my side. I was talking about things unsaid and unknown truth. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um. What's in the way of your connection here? Spiritual growth. Okay, well, the tower moment is always a moment to grow. Always, always a lesson. And the more you resist, the longer it lasts and the more miserable we feel. So just let it happen. Get some rest. Let it happen. Stop fighting. It's pretty clear, right? Eh? Okay. What do you need to know about the connection? Because I don't feel like you don't love each other. You do. <laughs> you both do. Um, but there's a purpose for what you're going through right now. I know you don't like it. I, I don't either when it happens to me. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the step you're guided to take. And this does not mean to tolerate what you don't deserve. Whatever it is. If the effort is to let go. To focus on you instead. Well, that's the effort you need to make. Because love is not only towards others. It's towards you as well. And if you don't put yourself first. And you don't love yourself. Well, nobody can love you. And that's something I've learned with time. So, yeah. Not always easy. I feel you're, like you're going to a very difficult time, group three. And I feel you. Really, really do. Okay, what else you need to know? You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Oh, look how similar these cards are. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but not... Uh, sorry. You are listening, but need to hear with loving heart. What energy do you need to be in? To help you go through this. Power moments, or this kind of episode in life 
they do last a few weeks or months. So you just have to breed. Okay, take some rest. Take care of yourself. It's not worth the fight. Things will change. This is not forever. Okay. Number 49, uh, 45. The parrot spirit. Watch your words. To words towards others. And words in your mind about yourself. And number 68. The wombat spirit. Be at home. Find your safety. Stabilize your emotion. I feel like you're really shaky. You might be super anxious right now, wanting to understand what's going on and trying to wanting to control the outcome. At this point, I would just just step back a bit. It doesn't mean to to let go of your person, to stop loving them. Let's just take a step back here. Keep your energy for yourself. Okay? Just, you know, it's just like, you know what? When there's a big storm coming out, let's say there's a tornado coming. What do you do? You go in the house, you lock the doors, lock the windows, and you stay safe. This is this. Stay safe. And I, if you're in contact with your person, and if you're kind of arguing about stuff and messaging each other i would just really step out of it just stop it it doesn't help it never does it never never does it, it, it just looks needy sometimes it is needy sometimes it's it just looks needy because we want answer but it it just like put oil on the fire it just don't do it please all right advice for you okay friendship we got friendship here amitié appelez un ami lorsque vous reflétez l'amour vous vous voyez clairement call a friend or talk to a friend when you are reflecting love you can see yourself clearly. I think you guys need some support. You can join the Facebook group if you're not a member yet. It's private, so you can just, you can use it to vent. You can just um, ask questions, ask opinions about what to do. Oh, there's always someone that adds the same a similar experience that has gone through it and can support you in that group okay oh oh i think you got two advices here two messages so we have these two images very blue very blue and calm okay let's start wait don't rush into it allow nature to make to take its course did I tell you to just step out a bit? Just take a, a step back. Just wait. Breathe. Let things happen. Let the storm pass by. Balance here. Yin, yang. Feminine and masculine energy needs to be balanced. Oh, when we got balance. I just love it when I see something. <laughs> we got it right there. Um, the next card. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both support, supports and challenges. So a great relationship. It seems like what something you have here. But right now there's some lesson to be learned. So you're into that. So group three. Whew. I'm sending you a lot of hugs and hug and, and love. Um, I feel you very much. 
I know it's it's difficult. So um, let me know how this resonates with you. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you need a personal reading, let me know. And that's it. But just trust that this is not forever. Okay? It's just a phase. There we go. I wish you a wonderful day. Even uh, this is tough. All right? Much love to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.